Welcome back guys to Not Cosmo Mark and Mark here, all about the Raptors. So let's go straight to our topics about them. So the Toronto Raptors, they played the past two games against Detroit and Houston Rockets. They lost two straight now. The most recent one against Houston Rockets. What do you guys think of the game so far? And what do you guys think about the whole team situation? Well, watching the game, it was, uh, to begin with, they were dry. They were just really off. Like, it <laughs> felt off when they played. Plus, Houston was in their A game when they came in, too. I mean, they were making shots. Defensively, this is probably the best I've seen them play defensively in a very long time since last year when they had really great defenders surrounding James Harden, including that, includes Chris Paul and Chris Capella. But when they came into this building at the West Coast Bank, they they knew that they were up against one of the best teams that could possibly come out of the East. Mm -hmm. So they played their A game. I mean, James Harden was impressive. Uh, but the rest of the squad that they had was P.J. Tucker, Clint Capella, Austin Rivers, Joe Green. They were just, Eric Gordon played well as well, and obviously Chris Paul. It was just a team effort that they kind of went and attacked the Raptors. In the beginning, I mean, they were up 20. They were up really big in the beginning and the Raptors came back to it just kind of to hold it off but I think it was just an off game for them too Kawhi's coming off his rest uh, and, and they're still trying to figure out Gasol and uh, Jalen is still kind of figuring out his role as well he's still struggling to in the floor so it's a good test for them to, to, to face a team like Houston so then they can figure out where they stand mm -hmm. and I hope they can learn from this in terms of how are they going to face up against a team like this because James Harden's team is almost similar to how Milwaukee's team is built, where they have a guy like Giannis who dominates the basketball and can command double teams and be surrounded by shooters, right? So if they can overcome this kind of situation, they can possibly have a way to get, you know, to if they have to face the Bucks to go and overcome that challenge because if they don't find a way to solve the situation where a team like this can kind of beat them to a, you know, a pulp and get to a really big lead, they would have some trouble in the playoffs. Yeah. Oh uh, well, that game was was bad because uh, Jeremy Lin haven't made a three point shot since he got signed, no. which is really over, bad. Over sixteen, something yeah. like that. Yeah, and yeah. and then not just that, uh, OG and Mark Gasol and Jeremy Lin is at least uh, minus twenty or minus thirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what what I see too a lot is they play Jeremy Lin with Norman Powell, and they're both like minus something. And <laughs> for me, when you play those. Two guys, they played the same. Mm -hmm. Well, Jeremy offensively is different, but they mm -hmm. played the same in defense. No, I understand that. Yeah, yeah the the like they, they couldn't play, shoot. Yeah. That so I think we need to switch optical. things around, mm -hmm. make things work. And actually, what I thought now, like what I think now is, I thought Rockets and Raptors can beat the Golden State because mm -hmm. uh, Golden State is zero and three against Rockets, and then Golden State is zero and two against Raptors. Mm -hmm. So. That could be a good matchup if if they see each other in the finals. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? I out? mean, for for Houston, um, they really stepped up their game again. What Mark said, yeah. they stepped their, up their defense. They looked like the team that played and yeah. went went straight to the Western Conference Finals last year. One like, game away for a final. Yeah, yeah. this they, could be a possibility. They had, they had a twenty point matchup. lead and they lost the lead in in, mm -hmm. in the third quarter and they were able to bounce back. James Harden wasn't really shooting well in the first half, yeah. but then he stepped up his game and made shots. His whole team made shots mm -hmm. uh, with the bench. I know there's a lot of, lot of uh, uncomfortable situations with the bench, ha having them all being in the minus territories. You know, everyone's not, it, w it was pretty much an off game uh, yeah. between them. Jeremy Lin, he's still, Jeremy Lin and Marcus are trying to find that groove. And keep in mind, and I, I, could, I, could, take, I could take an L on this, uh, on, for this game. We're still a little bit, we could still, we're going to be in the playoffs either way. <laughs> but the thing is, I can still take this L just because we're still trying to uh, get back together. We're still, still trying to have Marcus Saul and Jeremy Lin be comfortable yeah. coming off the bench. And even we still, we have t players like Fred Van Vliet who yeah. still are, is still out. So once he comes back, who, never, who, who knows what this team can be yeah. like, yeah. right? And thing is we want to make sure hopefully we get better in the three-point shooting because yeah. that's what we are struggling right now so mm -hmm. hopefully with the bench the bench steps up again because just having our starters play the pretty much the whole third quarter and then we have to bring in the bench and losing that comeback in the third quarter yeah. and eventually losing that game that that's we cannot have that happen especially in the playoffs because mm -hmm. any of these teams Brooklyn, Detroit, even Detroit. If Detroit, if we match up with Detroit, 
I can guarantee you there, there, there could be a chance that we might lose them yeah. in the first round yeah. if if this continues. But there's a lot, long, a lot of games uh, uh, still to go. Kawhi can still pick it up. A lot of players can pick it up. So it was just an off game again. So you know, hopefully that happens. Like you mentioned, speaking of the teams that they could possibly be, possibly put, uh, face in the first round, Nets, Detroit, the Heat. Mm-hmm. Which of the team do you guys feel like we have a good, you know, uh, we have a good matchup against in terms of, oh yeah, we can take that team down e- easily compared to the other. Which team do you guys feel like we should, you know, possibly be hope we well, can face? Hornets, Nets, you can beat that easily. Yeah. Uh, maybe Detroit, Miami, that mm-hmm. could give you a little mm-hmm. iffy because yeah. um, uh, Detroit, you know, doing Casey knows mm-hmm. the inside and out of Raptors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The players might be different, but Nick Nurse was a uh, assistant coach for mm-hmm. Dwayne Casey. Mm-hmm. That's the only problem. But the thing it's about go the, against each also the same way as Nick Nurse knows how Dwayne Casey yeah, coach. Yeah, th- that like, could be so the same thing. thing. But yeah. what I think about Dwayne Casey is that he's a good season coach. He mm-hmm. he's a, he's good at developing players. Mm-hmm. But that, what I've noticed about playoffs, he's totally different. Yeah. When it comes to... He's not like, as flexible and yeah, adjust, he's and, not, and good at adjusting, which I think yeah. Nick Nurse has an advantage in. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's better adjusting the player's uh, lineup with his rotation mm-hmm. compared to what Dwayne Casey was, which yeah. was very rigid in terms of his lineup. He knew what when everyone is coming in. He knew who the starting lineup never was, you know, never really adjusted it. So that could be a, you know, yeah. a good matchup too. But I'm actually worried about the Nets. I actually don't want to face the Nets in the playoffs oh, okay. first round. They're hungry. This is the first time coming yeah. in, and they have some pretty explosive guards like D'Angelo, yeah. Shabazz, Napier, Spencer. But that could be also a setback. I mean, kind of mm-hmm. like because they're new in the playoffs, they mm-hmm. may be, you know, they need to mm-hmm. get their feet yeah. wet and yeah. stuff like that. But I'd rather face a team like you know Detroit or Miami yeah. cause just there's some something about the Nets this season. There's just too much things that are going well for them, mm. and I think that's going to carry over in the playoffs. Yeah. And that's I think, scary. Yeah, I think Detroit. I think for Detroit and uh, the Brooklyn Nets, there could be there could be a problem with them yeah. in the playoffs. Miami, I, I believe they could easily beat them. Yeah. With the Nets, they have the top shooters. And they're really good, mm-hmm. coming off uh, a great season right now. Detroit, they have almost have our number. The past three games, that one game last year when we clinched the playoff spot. It was a close game. Yeah. The Mario Rosa was able to make that dunk and get an one. We won that yeah. game. The game, the first game against Dwayne Casey, it was a close game again, and we lost to Dwayne yeah. Casey. Mm-hmm. Last, a like, few weeks ago, it was another close game, and we lost. Yeah. So having matching up with Detroit, it's going to yeah. be difficult because of the situation between Dwayne Casey and Nick Nurse. They know each other's numbers, yeah. right? Um, and then it's going to be it's going to be tough uh, uh, with that playoff spot. Yeah. But I, I think it's still going to be a great season. I still think they're going to be any of those three yeah. teams. But will they give them problems for sure? Yeah. For sure. Yeah, the I reason think. why I said Miami is because. You know, Eric Spolstra, and you never know what doing. Wait, this yeah. is last year, so. <laughs> that too, that too, that too. Well, that's all we have, guys, for our show tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any last one before we end the show, guys? Yeah, don't forget to follow us on our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash Pernod Crossover, and all of our socials at Pernod Crossover. Join in the conversation. What do you guys think about the Lakers? What do you guys think about the Toronto Raptors so far? Check them out. And last words? check out the website. Uh, we just posted a new article. So if you guys join the conversation, like you said. So, yeah. Awesome. PernodCrossOver.ca. Check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Other than that, stay balling. <laughs>